why I don't reveal my age is because it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What up y'all? It's a little leftover vibes video. Last night, me and the fam jam, we had some tacos, fajitas kind of thing. So, you know what? I'm just gonna lay this one out real quick. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Cause you know me, I'm a busy guy. I got stuff to do. But let's lay out a few uh, little tortillas here. You know what? Let's have four. I feel like that's a nice, good little number. So we're gonna dress these up a little bit with the leftovers from last night. First things first, we got this pulled chicken here. If I was being proper about this, I should be reheating this in a, you know, a pan or something. But we're gonna kick it 1960s nuclear family with the night with the microwave. This chicken, by the way, guys, absolutely bomb, 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 bomb. We lay. We continue to lay. Got a good amount of chicken in those. I'm realizing I should have put these in like more staggered points. This makes way more sense. What am I doing? So onto that goes the sauteed peppers and onions that I did up last night. My mom's a big fan. So we put those in there. I'm gonna only have two with that. I want some cheese on all of them. I feel like every taco you eat in this world should have some cheese. But today is a lazy man's meal, like I said, so we're gonna transfer to a microwavable plate. I'm trying to get these microwaved up, and then we're gonna dress them further. We go up, 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 and away. Yeah, microwaves are dirty, just accept it. They are, okay, bye. I think a minute should do it. Microwaves are crazy town. Been more rhymes than a lazy Susan. What up, though? Well, it turns out a minute wasn't even close. Let's go for a few more. Ooh, getting close, getting close. All right, bye, guys. Please. Perfect. Hello. Natural light chicken cheese. Lazy man's video, but come on. She looks. A real nice. Come in for the close up on this plate. And we're gonna dress these guys up. So I'm gonna do each like slightly different. Like on this one, I'm gonna go more basic standard classic with a salsa drag, a little salsa drag on here. Of course, with the salsa, you gotta have a sour creme, a couple pickled jalapenos, a light lettucing, a light lettuce dusting, and a couple pieces of Tommy tomato on there and that one's good to go for sure. Next up on the upfront vibes, we're gonna go sour cream again. Hey Valentina, gotta go Valentina. Should really have Valentina on all but. And then just a couple pickled jalapenos. I will say this, I am gonna have sour cream on all of them. Cause that's just necessary for me. So sour cream on this guy. Nando's peri peri lemon and herb sauce. So that goes on there. Ooh, nice. And then I'm gonna hit that one just with some lettuce. And then the last boy, let's do, let's last boy gets a a full load maybe we'll do. Sour cream, of course. A salsa drag. A Valentina. A jalapenas. And an all dressed chips. <laughs> Bet you didn't see that curve coming. And the great reveal on the lazy man's microwave leftover tacos. Mm -hmm. Afternoon delight. Can't go wrong with that. Meet me outside though. Let's have a vibe. Let's chill. Oh yeah, guys. One more thing. Oh yeah. Can't forget the queso fundito. Steaming hot, piping for dip. Ready to rye. Okay. What up, world? Back with another one. Looking like a professional dishwasher, but silent rags, baby. Enough of these crinkly napkins. Even though it's a mukbang, but regardless. 
doesn't matter we're out here on the good nature vibes again backyard chilling mid-afternoon leftover lazy man chicken tacos y'all saw it come together you know i don't have time for fr frying pans and sautés sometimes you got to take it to particles going pop 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 in the micro anyhow bv excited got to get to it but first we must pour up so say a blessing or a prayer to those who need it in, in the pour up and uh, we'll get to it we got devil starbucks cup and we got the diet mountain dew of course i just felt like the mountain dew was appropriate for this gracious blue sky you know taco good energy bright colors keeping it light type vibe i felt like the dew was where it was at so <clears throat> i will say this though and uh hit me in the comments if you do agree is that uh diet pop i don't like the fizz time on it it's very finicky it takes longer to 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 fizz out and die out valentina of course hello we go in with a sip so yeah i want to keep the energy and the positive vibes good but i'm gonna kill it now with my topic for today i'm kidding but i do want to talk about something kind of serious to me in a sense that said i don't want to use it as like a a bad energy thing i want to use it as a good energy thing like an empowering thing so before we get into the topic i want to get to a taco and you know what guys off rip i want to go with the basic boy the valentina sour cream chicken jalapeno because why I want to roll it like a cigar and I want to do this. I want to do that dip. I want to become a true disgusting mukbanger. This is what we do within these videos. Flies, crows, in the flat in the sky bros you guys i finally understand why mukbangers go full disgusting and do the dips in the cheese because guy i tell you what let's check that chicken check the chinese to check that chicken but yo wow that was unbelievable let's take it a step further though and grab some valentina on that i do not want this you know what, let's put, the, you'd put you there. Mr. Escapey Jalapeno, oh my God. This is too proper. <clears throat> Somebody said in my last video with the, the tacos and the Mexican food. Like, <laughs> that's not authentic, authentic Mexican. Um, and that hat and stuff. I'm just like, that was the point. It was a joke. <laughs> Multiple times I said Western Mexican food that's not Mexican at all. And mul multiple times. I was making light of the fact that it was I was being authentically Mexican. Just jokes, guys. A chip? A ruffle chip? A, a plane in the queso? New territory for me, somewhere I've never tread. That's good. Very good. Now that we've opened up a spot for you guys, you guys just go chill. So what did I want to talk about today? I want to talk about a topic that, <clears throat> um, you know, it's very YouTube centric. Like it's just something, it's life 
centric, YouTube centric. It's just everything. It relates to everything. And um, but there's a deeper issue in it that kind of I think is is like actually a problem in society, and where a lot of source of a lot of people's stress comes from, and it's like very unhealthy. Let's have a look at that before we do anything. And uh, that is the ageism. So like racism and speciesism and ageism. Ageism is fully a thing. And it's mainly when people want to, you know, stifle you or shit on you. Uh, maybe your career goals dreams anything like that and it can be you're too young very rarely is it are you too young because mainly the young get praised for everything it's like the earlier you do anything in life and succeed at it it's like that much better of a human being or a person or like more amazing that you are but there are certainly times where you get you're told you're too young as well but for the most part it's you're too old to do this, or you're too old to pursue that, or you're too old for this, or people won't join your join your wagon if, if it's like, oh, well, he's, he or she or whoever, they're too old. Man, these flies, I'm telling you, I'm out of control. They're too old, like, but it's just really screwed up way to look at things because first of all you should be able to succeed in mostly whatever I mean like physical sports and things are a little different but a lot of fields like you could be any age and really just be getting better I just feel like society has put like this toxic stigma around age and achievement and like I feel like a lot of people feel this crazy amount of stress to like get to be at a certain place by a certain age uh, a certain amount of success whatever what have you um in many arenas, even in relationships and getting married. A lot of people get married out of like the idea that it's like, oh, I'm 30 and I've been with you for like a few years. It doesn't feel quite right, but you know what? It'll have to do because I'm 30 and I got to get married. It's like, just get married when it feels right. Or maybe even marriage is antiquated. Like, marriage is cool, don't get me wrong, if, it, if it's like whatever. If, if it's going to be legit, but I'm sorry, chances are it's not in my experience and the statistics of the world right now, but we're entering a different time in the world and old customs are just not what they are, can be or how they operate now. It's just different and uh, this is a different time. I think to shove yourself into something that feels not quite right because of this age box idea restriction societal thing is like a stu super stupid move. But anyways, even getting back to like pursuits of certain things, like for me, like music per se, a lot of people be like, oh, yeah, well, you're too old for that. It's like, why am I too old to do music? No one's too old to do music. Especially if you, like, love it, it makes you happy. I think a lot of people have this idea, too, that when people are pursuing things, they're pursuing them for, like, grandeur on the highest form. Like, trying to bless the stage and be, like, an, a world sensation. Like, 
that isn't everybody's desire or final goal. Maybe they just want to be successful, you know, to a certain degree doing something they love. I just think ageism is a, is a really fucked up thing. I think it puts a lot of stress, a lot of pressure on people. And a lot of people get brainwashed and caught in the trap of Like they stop believing in themselves because they're like, whoa, fuck, I am too old. I passed my prime. Like I, I can't do this anymore. How can I do that? I, I might as well just settle in and tuck in and just, just work my, my, like, you know, middle of the road and try not, not growing life. Like, I just think that's a really bad way to, to go about your life. And it sucks because as humans, we've been conditioned to have those things be like, it's like when you go to a party, like, and, uh, like if you're, if you're a standard box type boring person, like I try to never do this at a party. I don't ask, I, I hardly even like to get people's names, to be honest, because I'm probably going to forget it in the next two minutes anyways. I just rather have a genuine random communication with you in the moment, like something that's funny then or whatever, a commentary on the scenario, but I don't ask names usually at parties and I don't definitely don't ask how old are you and what do you do for work? It's the least interesting thing about any human being on the planet, but we've been socially conditioned to get those questions like out of the way or like as a social gauge to be like, Oh, well they're this age. How successful are they? And how, how can I compare myself to them? Am I better? Am I not as good? It's just so like ridiculous. There's so much more interesting things to know about a human than, than their name, their age, and their occupation. So what I'm trying to say is, as the empowering part of this video, is like, 30 is not a death sentence, by the way. It's like ri ridiculous that people think that. It's like 30 years old. 30 years old? Y your parent who's 50, 60 even in 45 would look back and be like 30 30 is a child I would love to be 30 again everybody I know not everybody I know but most people that I know that turn 30 are like it's it it's over it's done I'm done it's like you're gonna have a long shitty life if you think 30 is over you got another 50 60 years of life put it this way you have you have your entire life up to this point Two more times, if ever, if everything goes according to nature, nature's expectations of a lifespan. It's insane to me. So, if you stayed this long in the video, shout out to you because you're a G. Because you stayed the length, you're interested in what I had to say. You weren't just here for the food, my food clown tactics, and you don't mind me just blurbing at the mouth because that's why I like to do these videos because I like to express things from my experience in life. I can't be one of these people who just shoves cheese sauce in their mouth and says nothing. Sorry, can't do it. Um, but I'll say that to say, to say this, and this is you because you stayed the length, the length, you get this nugget at the end, which is, which is, I guess, the gold. Maybe I'll clickbait the title why I don't reveal my age. I don't, I've never revealed my age on this channel, nor my real name. The name is irrelevant. The name is for other purposes. I just don't, that's whatever. But the age is because of this. YouTube is full, is run by basically 13 year olds, 15 year olds, whatever. Kids that just don't understand life yet. It's like, first thing first, anybody who's judging anybody for being whatever age that's older than them, it's like, Eventually, you're gonna get to that age as well. So you're you're gonna age too. You're not gonna be 15 forever. And uh, let me tell you this: when you get to that age, all your crazy childhood expectations are not gonna be met with what you had in your mind. I promise you that. 
life's going to get a super weird, very complicated, very stressful, guaranteed. You know, there might be the odd few that get the lucky breaks and it all works out nice for them, but for the majority, it's not going to go how you plan and you're going to be sitting back thinking, damn, I was really a, a dink to that person and now I'm their same age and I'm not, you know, kill, killing it that hard. So there's that. But why I don't reveal my age is because I'm headstrong and I believe in what I want to do and what I'm doing and what I'm pursuing. And personally, frankly, I just don't need the negativity because I know it'll be there. You know, I'm not even that old either. Like, it's not, like, that's not even the problem. And it's just that I just don't want ignorant people or inexper life, life inexperienced people filling my comment section with negative like energy comments regarding age because they're on a a lesser vibration like they're just not as experienced in life as I am and they don't have the same headspace or viewpoint about age like people just subscribe to age as it's like the end all be all thing and it's not so That's why I don't say it. I just don't. I choose to, to, to withhold something that I know there's going to be a lot of potential toxic negative thoughts around. Because I just don't want it. I don't want it drawn to my, to my vibe, to my realm, to my good energy. So this video is dedicated to those who are similar to me. And on pursuits of things that maybe societally or technically people say oh you're too old but it's like you're not too old and if you give up on shit because society has told you that this age is past the prime then you're gonna live a long sad depressing life being very unfulfilled and being very like mad at the world and regretful to yourself so I say fuck all that go for your shit doesn't really matter what age you are and I promise you as well with age and doing the thing that you want to get better at or whatever as you grow it grows you get better you just get better it's the it, you can't debate it you get better the more you apply yourself and press and learn and your mind develops you get better so that was delicious I was on one on kind of a rant thing but I had to say it it's just how I've been feeling so real talk fuck flies fuck the algorithm too well and that's gonna fuck me over right now for just saying that but whatever i don't care i'm on one today i just i needed to like express myself for real for real for real hope you guys can appreciate it till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true peace